What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II, specifically how weapon variant statistics are working in the game and what you can learn from this and pull from this. So, if you learn anything today, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. This is going to be a well thought out discussion, but if you have any questions about heroic weapons, this is the one for you to watch. So if anything sparks an idea, Hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So a question that many of us have are how many epic weapons are in the game? How many heroic weapons are in the game? Because all we can look at is the standard, epic, and heroic weapons. So I asked on Twitter, hey, we've been out in the field plowing away. I got a new pull back to earning supply drops. Curious lately as to how many epic variants have heroic versions to them. Let's vote based on your current inventory. But it would appear that the audience that I have on Twitter is actually very smart. I spent all night doing research, and everyone's leaning towards four epic weapons have four heroic versions to them. And that is the exact results I got in my research, which I'll show you later in this video. Shout out to everyone who voted in this poll, and if you're not already on Twitter, feel free to follow me over there and vote on these polls. I try to feature them in my videos, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming out and lending your voice. Comment on my polls too. Let me know what you think. Usually it's about my next video. But with that said, let's talk about what we do know. The multiplayer primary total is 25 weapons. The multiplayer secondary total is 6 weapons. And the zombies build kit supplies 28 weapons. That's what we do know for sure. The types that you're gonna find with these weapons is standard, epic, and heroic. There's gonna be other drops but they're not going to be involved with weapons and weapon variant stats is what we're worried about today in this video getting the meta in line before things change this is the base version of the video so everything from this point on out wasn't involved with launch so this is everything that you're gonna find involved with launch so where we want to begin this discussion is the MP boost that happened with the epic and heroic because as you know the standard weapon is just that it doesn't provide a boost the epic version provides a 10% XP boost for the player. The heroic version will introduce a 15% bonus and that's on your XP as well. However, the epic versions are tending to have zombie perk bonuses. Now I'm not saying that the heroics don't, we can't prove that future ones will not have zombie perks, but right now it seems that the epics are what are giving us our zombie weapon perks. A strong hardworking man named Jeff Potts 2.0 message me over on Twitter. I do read you guys' comments. I may not always reply to you, but I do see them. I actually don't know what happened to the first Jeff Potts, but uh, the 2.0 version hit me up and said there's seven heroics that have zombie perks. So shout out to you. Now I absolutely wanted to include that in the video because out of all of my research, not one heroic weapon has showed a zombie perk yet to me. The weapon perks just don't show up on the heroic weapons on my end and I could be wrong about that, so this man is saying there is, however my research doesn't say that. So we're going to move forward with the understanding that heroic weapons at this point don't have zombie perks, but the slim chance that there is, this man has a testimony. As a side note, I want to add that the zombie weapon perks will not show up. They're only visible on the actual supply drop itself, the icon is, and in your weapon build kits. That's where you'll be able to see the actual zombie perk. But total! With the standard weapons, we have 31 weapons in total, just standard across the board. Total epic variants, we have 248 epic variants of all these standard weapons, okay? This stems from some research I found over on Reddit that there are actually four epic versions and four heroic versions each for every standard weapon. So you have your standard weapon, and then you have eight other variants. Four of them are epic, four of them are heroic for every single weapon, which means that because there's a total of 248 epic variants, that also means there's a total of 248 heroic variants. Adding that together, you have a little bit less than 500 drops on top of the standard weapons where there's 31, okay? So a little bit less than 500 drops just in weapon variants. So how you feeling? I know it's a lot to take in right now. Drink some water. We got one more sick, twisted dive down this rabbit hole, and then we're home free. The variable of gaining more and more weapons to add to your collection 
does come from spending things like armory credits. However, supply drops are a big part of that. So what we're going to cover right now is a supply drop system where we have different types of supply drops. The standard, the rare, the legendary, epic, and heroic. But all of this research isn't just from myself. This comes from Drifter and his research that he did on the supply drop system recently. I'll have his video linked down in the description box below if you want to check out more. But I'm going to highlight some of the main points that he had here because I feel it was very integral as well for Zombies players. we got to know this stuff. So what we're measuring is rarity versus the items that are here. So the results that ended up happening, as you can see on the charts, it's quite insane. There's a 13% chance that your drop will be epic or heroic. 13%. Now as we just found out, 500 are just weapons. Those are the epic and the heroic are just 500. That's not including the actual standard drops that are out there, the rare drops, the legendary drops that are out there, clouding up all the space. Adding that all together, you have 13% of a chance that your drop will just be epic or heroic. The rest of that is all filler space, but in that 13% lies our epic and heroic weapons that we can actually look at but the real reason this research is so great and juicy is because Drifter not only covered the rarity of what your drop and chance is going to be, he covered how many items were actually in here compared to what he opened, okay? So there's a 6% chance in all of the drops that he opened, which I think was 288, there was a 6% chance that the drop would even just be a weapon. So of the 13% chance that it'll just be epic or heroic, you have to worry about another 6% variable that it'll even be a weapon. With those odds, I mean, I think you'll be spending about $500 just to get ahead of the game if you're worried about getting all the base weapons that are epic and heroic before the DLC drops. I think if you're that guy, $500 might get you there, but it's going to take a lot of money, for sure. So, it's going to bring me to my next point though, which is the weapon build kits and how we can start collecting these variants because that's what we want to do is complete our arsenal, our collections and ultimately get the four epics and the four heroics that we need for each weapon that we have so far. And so one way to do it, we can get one epic variant that could be earned in headquarters collections with armory credit purchases. So you'll be collecting armory credits and you can buy things in your sets and complete your sets which will unlock that variant. So if we were to look just in the collections, what you can see is 11 epics have zombie perks. So if you're looking just for weapon perks that are zombies related, 11 of those epics in your collections will have those, so you can unlock those with armory credits. Now as for weapon variants, you can open supply drops to obtain new variants. That's what the official tagline says across it when you're looking at how you actually earn weapon variants. The weapon perks, as we talked about, are visible in the collections on the supply drop itself where the icon shows and the most obvious place you can find it is in your weapon build kits. I know another topic that some of you guys are probably interested in is how many weapon perks are there? What's the total amount of weapon perks? By my research and everything that I've seen there are about six to ten different effects that you can have with weapon perks on these weapons. And now I only have seen the epic versions have these zombie perks but there might be some heroics out there that might have zombie perks. We have yet to discover that, but I'm thinking that's coming with DLC. The attachments are heavily involved in weapon build kits. I'll just bring that up. The unlocks are based on rank progression in zombies, and I absolutely hate that. It's very comparable in multiplayer to how they unlock the lethal and basic training. That's all rank based. But in multiplayer, they have a weapon level system, which is something as Zombies players we grew to love during Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare Zombies. But that's been stripped from us, and now we have a rank progression where we unlock attachments as our rank increases. And only that way, you know. You can't unlock it permanently or anything. It's just that's the way it is. So, very different, and it bugs me. I wish it was thought of differently, but hey, we're living in the boundaries that we're living in this season pass, and so I'm going to try to accept that fact. This is an experience just like Infinite Warfare Zombies gave us an experience, and just like Treyarch perfects that experience each and every time. By the way, they're coming up next. So I'm very excited for where the future is going. I'm just going to take this for what it's worth. But the last thing I want to harp on is social score and how locked variants 
are rewarded by rank progression too. And this is actually really cool because increasing your social score is by commending other players in the headquarters. Earning supply drops, dropping them down, I mean people that even purchase it with COD points, we're all gaining social scores. So commend people while you're in the headquarters, it's very important. But these weapons will be unlocked as well, and particularly epic weapons that we're collecting here. They're going to be locked behind the social score wall. So get that rank up and you will unlock weapon variants too. Ones that you're probably missing will be found in your social score rank up. And while we're on the topic of social score, there was another video I did just about social score. So if you're interested in learning about more ways to rank up, check the description box below. There'll be a link on social score right there for you. But one thing you need to know before you go is that you can earn massive armory credits by raising your social score. And I'm talking increasing that rank will grant you huge bundles that are rewarded by reaching certain ranks. So by reaching rank 15, you're going to be getting 10,000 armory credits and it's only up from there, my friend. So get that social rank up and you will get new weapons as well. Epic variants that are needed but are locked behind that social score wall. But to bow tie this up, do a little roundup. There are 31 standard weapons currently in our inventory. Of the epic and heroic versions, there's 248 variants each, both epic and heroic. There are four epics for every single standard weapon, and there are four heroic variants for every standard weapon. So that makes one standard weapon with eight variants total for every single weapon. That's what I want you to take from this. And just so you know, when you're opening zombie crates, Know, of course, that commons are rewarding players more so than the rares, so what you're spending COD points on aren't as good as the actual ones you're earning. That's a fact. But if you're opening a zombie supply drop, you gotta know that you're opening two slots for this entire looting system that's massive. There's no point in doing that unless you want consumables. So if you're low on consumables, buy the zombie supply drops, forget pride. If you're looking for weapons and you want to unlock more and more epic and heroic weapons, open up the common, the standard supply drops and the actual rare supply drops. Those are going to have your best bet because they have three slots that are available for opening loot. And you need that more than you need consumables. So, to each their own out there, but I'll see you out in the field and I hope this video helped. Be sure to subscribe and think about hitting that bell icon. Yeah, it's my goal to produce a quality video for you each and every time. So, see you out there. Final one out.